All right, welcome back to the vlog. Now, this time, as you can see, I'm back in the blazer. That is running again. As I know in the last vlog, when I was severely asleep, right? I said it didn't run, and now it does. Now, as I said in that video, I have posted it for sale, and there is one, well, there are two interests in it. Uh, one guy just left me a message and said just remember, so he would remember the uh, ad for when his paycheck came in, which I'm guessing is in maybe about a week. That's usually when people get their pay, if it's not the first, it's the 15th. If it's not the 15th, it's the end of the month. So that means I have a little while. Anyway, I got it to run. Uh, it was just a fuel filter. Imagine that. It was, well, medium clogged. It wasn't really clogged. It wasn't completely clogged, it was almost. As I just put my lips to it, blew in it, and it just went, turned it around, blew the wrong way through it, and it just went, and then everything just, well, got loose in there. Since I don't have a filter, I replaced the filter with a rubber hose and a couple of hose clamps. Because these are ones you just screw a fitting into it and there's a steel line on either side so we just well, put a hose on, a, on either side of the fuel lines and clamp it. It works. It might be sucking in a bit of crap, but well, it's better than not having it running. So I'll have to get a filter and put that in here so uh, it actually has a filter in it instead of just a length of pipe or oh, the hose. It's about this long. Now, if this thing gets sold, for the price I have advertised for, it is enough for me to get the windows I need for the Granada, as well as the headlight and the headlight bezel, and maybe brakes. It needs brakes. The front brakes work, but they lock up. So you like pump the brake, start it up, and then try to take off front wheels are kind of locked, so you have like forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, so loose up a bit, and then take off and just let them ride. And then if you brake again, they kind of just seize up. So the calipers are going. And the rears, I haven't even led them yet. I've put them on there so the, so the fluid won't leak out, but that's pretty much all they're doing, they're stopping the fluid from leaking. And they're full of air. Probably. Now, if I get that done, I also have to weld the Granada a little bit before I can use it because there's a well underneath the front seat, well, the fastening rail that is built into the floor and chassis, that is rusted away at the bottom. So, what it's supposed to be attached to is gone, most of it, and the seat. Uh, it's on a sort of a pillar on the down here by the door on the front. The top of that is completely gone. That's just torn out of there. So I think someone may have been a bit rough with the seat, torn the thing out. That is left to be done. And when I get that done, along with the windshield, the window, and the rear window, and the headlight, and the brakes. I think it is pretty much ready to be, and I will have its inspection, and maybe at that point get it road legal again. I mean, it has been on the road for almost 20 years, so it might be good. I mean, the gasoline is in it is 20 years old, so it doesn't really do much. I've been trying to adjust the timing and all that on it, but I have never really gotten it to run properly. I've the, the correct timing and it just didn't want to run. And then it takes me like five minutes to remember that, oh, the fuel in this thing is 20 years old. This one red runs already. It's allowed to be, well, a little rough. Anyway, 
that was it for that update on that stuff. Now, another thing I wanted to mention on was, well, touch on, mention and touch on, yeah, is some, well, the last video I put out, the 68 Falcon. I've been thinking of may maybe making a couple more videos like that one, and on that one I had my brother to be a cameraman, which actually helped me out a lot being able to do more stuff while actually filming. Now I don't have a, the only thing I really shoot with now as a camera is my phone, because it's pretty much the best camera I have. I have one of those little action cameras, but, well, the videos I've shot with that are crap, essentially. The audio just completely sucks and, well, it's not really the best quality image either. Now the only thing I think I can actually use that camera for is, well, driving shots from the outside and then have another camera recording the sound, which is pretty much what I'm going to have to do if I'm going to use that camera. Now I do use my phone now, as I said. And even though the audio isn't the best, and the image, well, the autofocus on this thing kind of fucks it up a little bit, but it's the best I can do right now. I have been thinking of getting another camera, like a real, either a like handheld video recorder or one of those cameras, like a Canon or, yeah, one of those things. Although, I don't know if that is going to happen soon. Now, I've thought of it this way, because I have 80 subs right now. Speaking of 80 subs, <laughs> my second vlog that I put out was uh, titled, uh, what was it, Line Lock Burnout at 75 subs? Something like that. And I've hit 75 subs. And if you've had a look through the channel, you notice that there is no 75 sub burnout. That is because the line lock hasn't arrived yet. So I'm waiting for that. And well, almost every day I keep waiting, I see the sub climbing up one number more. Now I am really grateful for everyone subscribing. And, well, it really helps me out and it helps the channel out, <clears throat> and it really helps me grow and uh, improve my videos. Now, I don't really know, damn this rather. I'm back to what I was talking about, about the camera, because that ties in with this. I don't know how this channel is gonna progress, and I don't know how I can make it better, which is why I need the feedback from you guys watching to figure out what I can do better and what you want to see. Now, up until now, I've just been doing what I can do with what I got. And, well, I have a bunch of old cars. Most of them, well, all of them, they work, done to them. And when I can't do any work, like when I had the cast on this hand, which is off, and the thumb is completely broken still. I mean, that is the best I can do to do that. And it's kind of sore me still. The entire well, wrist and the joint up here. This is very, pretty much what I do when I can't shoot any of those videos. So. I would just want to know what you guys would want me to shoot more of, of what I've already done, and if there is anything else you would, watch, would want to see me do on this channel. Now, any comments are just welcome to just pop them down there, or on any of the other videos I have. If there is something with those videos that you would want, want me to elaborate on or do more of, just drop it in the link. Drop it in the comment section of that video and also leave likes 
If it's the first time you're watching my channel, subscribe. If it's the second time and you still haven't subscribed, well then subscribe this time. And if it's the third, well that goes again, subscribe. And if it's the fourth, subscribe, fifth, subscribe, yeah. You get it, subscribe. If you like the content. And if you don't, then leave me a comment saying what I should improve on. That is pretty much it for this time. Now everyone just remember to take care and I will see you later in another video.